going to take you step by step through what I learned, and it took me nine years to learn it. I could sit down with anyone and show them how to become a millionaire. If we were to photograph your body with Kirlian photography, that's the way you would look. Your body would be a glistening, radiating, gleaming form. You're a mass of energy in a high speed of vibration. You operate on a very high frequency. You're moving so fast, you appear to be still. But I'm gonna tell you, nothing about you is still. It's moving at a very, very high speed. Look here for a moment. Let all these lines represent levels of vibration. There's an infinite number. Every frequency is hooked up to the one above and the one below. There's no line of demarcation where one stops and the other starts. Now, if you understand this in depth, that means everything in this universe is connected. There is only one power. It manifests in many different forms. We think we're different. We only appear to be different. We're not different at all. We're all exactly the same. We just do different things, we think different thoughts, we're involved in different ideas, but we are all connected. And I think when we really get that straight in our mind, a lot of the problems that we have go away. Let's suppose that X represents where you are. That represents you, where you are in your life right now. You have the ability, take a very honest look at your life and see how you got there. Everything that's happened, is recorded in your mind. And you can look back and you can see how one thing led to another, which led to another, which led to another. You met this person, you met that person, you moved here, you lived there, you went to work here. And you'll see <coughs> in your mind how you got to where you are. Because you can look back at it. Now when you go to look ahead, you say, that's where I want to go. This is the dream that comes into your mind and you quickly get rid of it because you don't know how to get there. When we think of something, when it comes to our mind, let's understand nothing is created or destroyed. We've tuned into something that already is. And rather than let it go, what we want to understand is that there is a place. It's a frequency that we tuned in on way beyond where we're at in our own consciousness. This is real, this isn't just some fancy idea. Well, we've got to understand that when we see something, it's not just something, it's a place. There is a place, it's a frequency. When we get on that frequency, all kinds of things start to happen. This new state of conscious awareness becomes our home from which we view the world. Act like the person you want to become. When you move on to a higher frequency, you're going to be communicating with a world that's totally foreign to and beyond the reach of your five senses. Now, until we start studying this, we go by what we hear, see, smell, taste, touch. We've got to get away from that. We really have to start to understand. When you move on to a higher frequency, that's when you start using your higher faculties. You don't go by what you hear, see, smell, taste, touch. You go by what you can see in your mind nobody else can see. Now there is a place. Steve Jobs made it very clear. He said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust the dots will somehow connect in the future. When you start, everything will start to happen for you. And one thing after another will start to happen. And pretty soon, you find yourself there. It's done. And when you get there, you're going to start to become aware that you could have gone there. You see, when this crazy feeling takes over inside, you've got to understand what is taking over. You've got to understand what's causing you the problem. And you have to take control. You cannot let the paradigm control you. That's where that feeling inside, it starts to create doubt. It starts to create fear, all kinds of nonsense. You've got to understand, it's like a person inside that's against you. That's really what it's like. It's like a person that's inside talking to you, and it's against you. It's a program. It's a paradigm. 
and it talks to your consciousness when you're alone, when you're laying in bed or getting up in the morning, or maybe when you're standing in the shower. And it's telling you why you can't do it. You don't have the money. You don't know how. You're never going to get somebody to believe in this. All those ideas are going to flow into your mind. And that's what the paradigm does to you. You can ask yourself, what do you really want to do? The future must become the present in the imagination of the one who would wisely and consciously create circumstance. We must translate vision into being, thinking of into thinking from. Imagination must center itself upon some state and then view the world from that state. That's what we're talking about here. To move to a higher frequency, you've got to consent. In other words, your decision, I couldn't do you, I couldn't take you there. Only you can go there. Then you have to adapt to the ideas and feelings the new frequency represents. Then you're operating from intuition. You're not operating from what you can see with your eyes because it's not manifest yet.